In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install and configure SQL Server 2005 Express Edition reporting services. And within minutes, I'll create and deploy a couple of reports that you and others can view directly from their web browsers. Now, reporting services provides the tools necessary to get great results quickly, complete with charts and graphs, with uh, drill down data, with export to Excel and PDF formats, and more. Uh, let's just take a second and look at some examples of the kinds of reports that you can actually build. Here we're using the Report Manager application to navigate through the reports. And the first report we take a look at here is the Adventure Work Sales, where we can drill down by quarter, by year, by product category and subcategory to see the sales for each of the quarters uh, for a given product and subcategory of product. If we go back we can take a look at sales order detail. So for a specific sales order number which you can change you can see kind of a receipt for a single purchaser Here's another report that would get the sales for a given employee. So if we select an employee from the list and click View Report, we can see some nice charts about how well that employee is performing. As you can see from these examples, with reporting services, you have a lot of formatting options as well as uh, interactivity. Uh, by parameterizing your queries and a lot more. Uh, not to mention the cool web-based user interface that nicely manages the reports that you've created. Uh, also, you can set permissions on the reports that you create to only allow those with the proper privileges to view certain reports on your server. Now, admittedly, the reports that we just looked at are a bit more advanced, but using a report wizard, you can create simple reports within minutes. Uh, reporting Services also has a rich API for defining more complex reports. Reports can be built using a special version of Visual Studio called SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio. So those of you who are already developing applications with the other Express Edition tools or with Visual Studio, uh, you can leverage your existing IDE skills here. So let's start with a quick overview of the major pieces of reporting services and then we'll begin with the installation and configuration demonstration. Uh, now, while there are many working parts internal to reporting services, I'm just going to focus on the components that you're going to see and interact with the most as a developer of the reports. Uh, first of all, you'll create .rdl files, which stands for Report Definition Language Files, uh, which is just an XML syntax that contains the definition of your uh, reports. And you'll create these RDL files using SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio. It allows you to find the connection to the database, the data that you'll retrieve into the reports, and the way that the data will be displayed on the report. So once you define the report, you'll deploy it to a report server which manages the reports and it's responsible for things like maintaining the metadata about the reports like connection information, the underlying data source, cached versions of the report and so on. Uh, the report server kind of stays behind the scenes and manages the report and information in the reports. Uh, it keeps track of information in a couple of SQL Server databases that you'll uh, define during the configuration steps that we'll go through in just a few moments here. Uh, then there's the report manager and this is what we were just looking at a moment ago. It's that user-friendly web-based user interface that you and your users will be able to interact with. Uh, it requests reports and other information from the report server and then displays the results to the end user. Now again, this is a very basic breakdown of the responsibilities for reporting services. The main message is that you have a very sleek, well thought out workflow for creating and managing reports for your data. Okay, so that's all the overview that we're going to need. Let's go ahead and get started. 